Hi folks, this is Thomas Hutton. Uh, today I'm going to make a short video explaining the uh, thermostat system on the uh, Porsche 914 motor. Of course, the 914 engine is air-cooled, and in the front here there's the impeller, which uh, brings in the uh, cool air, and that impeller basically slings that air around, as you can tell by the shape of it, and it sends it over the hottest parts of the motor, which is the, the cylinder head and the cylinders and it uses these tin shrouds to direct that air. Okay, so here's how you tell if your thermostat has, has failed. Um, if you look in your engine compartment, right next to the dipstick, you'll see this little wire. Right this here. wire is attached to the thermostat, and it pulls down this lever. And so if your engine has this thing in the upright position, and this wire here is slack in it then that tells you pretty much you've got a, a failed thermostat so here's how this the cooling flap system works on this engine when the engine is cold and if your thermostat is working properly this is how your your flaps are in this position so as you can tell air is restricted from coming from the impeller and it's restricted from coming over the cylinders and cylinder heads. Also on this side you can see the same thing applies but also air is restricted from flowing into the oil cooler. So it is in the cold position um, this flap here on this side of the engine is actually restricting air from flowing over that oil cooler. When the engine starts to warm up then the the thermostat will open and it slowly lets these flaps move into this position. Now when it is in that position you have full air coming over your your heads from this side and that side and your oil cooler is actually getting a special its own air which is just under this there's a little slot opening and it's getting uh, pressurized air in there to cool that system so as a recap that's how it is when the engine is cold and then as it warms up it slowly opens and allows air to come over Now the engine thermostat is going to be under um, the uh, driver's side of the engine and uh, concealing it is a, uh, a piece of engine tin which has to be removed. So I've got the engine tin removed on the bottom so that um, I can uh, have a look at this thermostat. So this thermostat um, is failed, and I know that because of the way it's expanded like this. Normally they look like this, sort of squinched in, and when they fail they basically do that and give way. So, and the basic operation is when, they're, when the engine is cool it's more or less um, like this and when the engine warms up then it goes like that so here this one has failed and when they fail they fail in the open position so that the engine does not burn up
and you can see the uh, cable that goes up and around <clears throat> as you can see the thermostat has the wire coming out of it and it goes up here and um, there's supposed to be a pulley there that allows this wire to make a 90 degree turn well, that pulley is gone so that also explains why things aren't working right so just a note about cooling um, I used to live in a home that was um, that had a lot of trees and I would park my car under those trees and um, you know you sort of don't think much of it but the leaves um, have a way of working their way into these motors um, the uh, the impeller can uh, draw the leaves in and uh, somehow they all get sort of stuck and this was uh, my engine at that time um, before I rebuilt it uh, pull the engine tin off and found a bunch of leaves just completely compressed all the way on the back side of the uh, of the cylinder tin so something to be mindful of so that's it that's all I have to say about 914 thermostats and cooling flaps hope you enjoyed and thank you and subscribe thanks